If you know me, you know that Chino Bandito is one of my favorite places to eat, but I'm not going there today. Just heard that this place right here, Valley Wings, has some of the best wings in the valley. We about to find out. They said they voted the best wings in Arizona on Yelp. That does not mean much to me though, because some people on Yelp are stupid. Never been here, don't know it's good. I will say this, <laughs> chicken wings are crazy expensive. Like, I don't understand how crazy expensive, but I'm here with some friends. We're gonna eat some. Kenny Dobbs, you might know. John, you probably do know. These two buddies, you probably don't. Let's check some wings. Okay, so like just regular, like kitchen towels, cans of soda, nothing in the soda dispenser. And, and like ranch and little things. So uh, they said, let's eat now. Well, we ordered six minutes ago. We haven't got our wings yet. Let's eat when they're ready. Okay, half Korean barbecue, half Valley, kind of sweet barbecue, whatever. And oh boy, that looks pretty all right. All right, first we've got the, um, this is the uh, Valley barbecue. It's a little sweet. Mm. These are meaty. Mm. That's got a little um, like teriyaki to it almost. Really good. Good crunch. Mm. Korean barbecue. It's very sweet. Mm. Crispy. So if you do a, a combo meal, they have this eight ninety nine combo meal. You get five wings and fries and this pita bread, and you can kind of get that in whatever you want. Kenny, you thought they were maybe a little over. Mm, maybe a little bit too too long in the fryer, but crispy. overall the flavor, yeah, the crispiness is nice, but overall the flavor of this combination of lemon pepper and hot is definitely on point. I love is it. it. John, what are you thinking? So far, so good. Yep. So you said not so hot. You got hot, but they're not that hot. If you see my nose, it's sweating a little bit, but um, they're actually not too bad. They're not as saucy as theirs are. I think that's probably yeah, what's kinda, making it. Kind of dry, a little sauce on the bottom. If they were, that'd probably be a little bit worse, but not too bad though. So far, so I'm good. gonna ask the guys around one to 10, what do you think? So um, I think if I would've gone with the hot buffalo instead, it would've been better. Um, but what I got, it was just a little bit drier than I normally get, but that's my fault. Um, still a solid maybe eight out of 10 though. All right, eight, eight out of 10 is still pretty good. Yeah. Eight out of 10 is balling. Yeah. Um, Flavor, I'd definitely say a nine with the mixture of the lemon pepper and the hot. But as far as the kind of the overcooking of the uh, of it, I'm gonna have to give them a seven. Mm. Yeah, I'm with Kenny. That's a seven only because I only tried one flavor, so I'm I'm leaving room for if I try more flavors, it can go up. Yeah, to keep it real, it's about a, about a five, honestly. Oh, he's keeping it Dude. real, real. <laughs> keep it real. You know, I've been to some some pretty dope wing spots before, and um, I don't know, this just wasn't hitting. You feel me? So. In the room. Oh, no. <laughs> Mike's got the savagery going here, but you know what? He's right, actually. Um, it's okay. Yeah. I, I mean, there's. I mean, I got. I got a pile of wings, but um, a little over right now. So maybe I'll try some other ones next time. But that course cool. Place is all right. Um, but honestly, a little overcooked, and the flavors were a little overpowering. I, I mean, it was like too sweet and not no chicken left. So, eh, eh, meh.